All right, I got a caliber comparison video here today. As you guys saw in the thumbnail, we're shooting these gallon jugs of water. I'm gonna use 22 long rifle, 380, nine millimeter, 40, and 45. Okay, the ammunition I'm using today. For the 22, CCI Stinger. For the 380, this is Underwood XTP. Uh, it's the plus P loading. Given the fact that this is the smallest, wimpiest centerfire cartridge here today and it has the shortest barrel, I think it's fair to use plus P, which helps make up for that short barrel of that little micro there. For the 9mm, standard pressure 124 grain gold dot. For the 40, standard pressure 180 grain gold dot. And then on my past videos, I've been getting some crap from some of you because uh, I was using 45. Uh, gold dot, but they're only 185s. So you were stating that um, that's a fast load because that's lightweight for a 45, and this is a slow load because that's heavyweight for a 40. So you're saying it wasn't fair. Unfortunately, this is the only next best option I have here since we're heavy on the 40. I can go heavy on the 45 ACP as well, but it's a plus P loading. That's just the way it is, guys. That's what I have right now. Um, most of you know, defense ammunition is kind of hard to find right now and expensive. Uh, in the future, I'll try to get lighter weight 40s to match, uh, I don't know, maybe a 245 or something like that. I'll try to make you all happy. But for today, that's what it is, and that's why it was this way in the previous videos. Um, so I guess we'll go with the 230 grain, but it's a plus P, so it's still not exactly fair. Uh, that said, even though these are plus P, they are advertised 950 feet per second, whereas these lightweight for 45, 185 grain standard pressure gold dots are advertised at 1050. So these are advertised 100 feet per second faster than these 230s, even though they're a plus P. So while this says plus P, it's not a very hot plus P. So hopefully that's more what you guys are looking for there. Uh, I previously did pop bottles, and some people were complaining that uh, they would rather see water because the pop is obviously it's carbonated so that aids in the explosiveness of it uh, so not only because of that but because i had already planned to do this we are now doing water today plus this is one gallon instead of two liters so a little more volume there and no carbonation if you guys have any questions about the guns just ask in the comments because comments help the video uh, but we'll get everything set up here and we'll get started all right, remember in order, guys, 22 long rifle, 380, 9mm, 40, and then 45. I'll tell you what, the last two times I've been out filming man it's just not been my day uh so i had the gopro down there on the brick and it recorded for 29 seconds and then you see the exclamation point that should have been the rest of the footage i walk up to it it's not recording and it says sd card error so we have no footage from the gopro awesome but honestly <laughs> i don't blame it that's where it was hit with a 556 five, round and uh, I busted off the cover there, and you see it's all messed up. There used to be a uh, plastic cover over the lens here, and right there is where the bullet smacked it. So uh, probably my own fault from hitting it with the bullet there. Uh, so I guess I got to work on replacing this thing.
So anyways, 45 certainly seemed to do the most amount of damage there, uh, at least with the ammunition that we ran today, okay? You can get self-defense loads for 9mm anywhere from low 300 foot-pounds of energy clear up to uh, mid-500s with a full-size barrel. Uh, 40 Smith & Wesson I've seen close to 600, and I actually have some 45 ACP that's over 600 foot-pounds of energy, uh, which, by the way, that's like 357 Magnum range there. So depending on which load you use, it can change your results, obviously. And But this seemed to be a decent comparison here today. Uh, my guess would be, like I said, those were plus P. So if we used a non-plus P load of that, uh, the results wouldn't have been quite extra as extravagant. Although I think this probably still would have been close. Uh, so I think that larger diameter, that 45 bullet hitting that and expanding, is why we're getting more damage in the water jugs there. Now obviously these are just water jugs, so this is more for fun although it is somewhat of a comparison but guys i do have a bunch of gel tests on the channel and i'm doing more this fall and winter uh, so if you really want to know what they'll do against uh, a bad guy uh, more scientific approach including layers of clothing uh, i have gel tests on the channel for that uh, but anyways let's examine these so there's your entry on the 22 and it did exit okay so there's your exit hole there's a little tiny fragment in there there's the 380. And there's the exit on that. And all these pop the cap off. 9 millimeter. And there's the exit from that. 40. Exit from the 40. You can see it's getting bigger there. And then this 45 actually tore the side out of the front there. And there's the exit on that. So anyways, that's your results there. Sorry about the GoPro, but obviously that was beyond my control. If you guys want to get yourself any products you see me using in my videos, like steel targets, earmuffs, uh, shooting bag, and way more, links in the description. As I said, there'd be a link either in the description or the comments section uh, to the previous videos. Certainly the soda pop one, but I've also shot uh, watermelon, cantaloupe, and should have had cabbage up by now as well. So if you missed any of those, there'll be links for those if you want to check them out. And we'll be doing these again, as well as the watermelon and cabbage and all that. And I got more planned, but we'll be doing them with other calibers as well. So I'm going to do a shotgun version of this. Same thing with all the other ones I shot previously. Uh, centerfire rifle. And I'm working on uh, getting my revolver collection going so that I can do different revolver calibers as well. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I'm going to wrap this one up here, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.